Thanks, James. Now, Hunter Biden's plea deal collapsed dramatically this week after the judge was sceptical of his guilty <laughs> plea. Can't think why. Seems the tables are beginning to turn for the Biden family. Let's hope so. Joining us to discuss this and much more, of course, is comedian and friend of the show, Alex Stein. Now, Alex, great to see you. Now, before we go, Alex, I just want you to help me here. I, we've got three glasses of water in front of us, and they've been sitting in front of us for over an hour, and they still haven't started boiling. What has happened to global boiling? Hopefully you can tell us from your well, fireside there, Alex. Well, I, I think that it's pretty obvious Hillary Clinton uh, complained and said it's the MAGA Republicans that are making uh, our atmosphere and making the world so hot. But considering how many times Bill Clinton went to Epstein's Island, I <laughs> think they like warm weather. I don't know why they're complaining. <laughs> uh, now, tell us about the Hunter Biden story uh, so, and get, fill us in briefly on the background and your take on it. Well, I mean, it's just, it's obvious Hunter Biden is guilty. I mean, we know this, you guys know this, but what's really kind of blows my mind is why not just plead guilty? Your dad is the president. He's going to give you a pardon. As a matter of fact, if his dad didn't give him a pardon, I would say that Joe Biden's a bad dad. So, I mean, listen, this is all just going to be kind of a convoluted mess. And in the end, it's going to end the same way with a, you know, get out of jail free card from his dad. So let's just get the show on the road and quit distracting us from, you know, what's really happening in the world today. Oh, he didn't need a pardon because this plea deal he'd organized was just so soft, so soft that the judge said, no, thank you. I'm not accepting that. But it is interesting because this implicates Joe Biden because Hunter told the judge that he had received hundreds of thousands of dollars from a Chinese Communist Party backed company and we have the president on record saying no member of his family has ever received a cent from China. So where does this leave Joe Biden? Is there finally some scrutiny of him and whether he's been enriched by some of his uh, dodgy son's antics? Listen, even though I don't uh, agree with any of Joe Biden's politics, you know, I bleed red, white and blue. So it's going to be very sad when I think it's inevitable that he's going to get impeached. I mean, Joe Biden has sold out our country secrets for years. Say what you will about Donald Trump. But I think that Joe Biden is much more cor uh, corrupt and much more connected than Donald Trump ever has been, considering his long history in Washington, D.C. So, yeah, I, I think what's going to happen is that he's going to be forced to step down because the crimes are just uh, at such a level that they cannot ignore it anymore. And let's be real. Maybe this was the plan the whole entire time, because I don't think Joe Biden has the stamina to run for president again in mm -hmm. 2024. And they definitely don't Friends? want him. Yeah, but Alex, I mean, you know, you talk about impeachment, you talk mm -hmm. about all this stuff. I don't reckon, though, when you look at the New York Times, the Washington Post, CNN, I don't think the average American is tuning in to just how bad this is. I'm worried that he's going to skate. What do you reckon? Mm hmm. Well, c come on, you guys have been to America. Probably half the people don't even know who Kamala Harris is. People are worried about their bills. People are worried about their life, you know, actually trying to make it in America when they're, you know, worried about being a victim of crime. You know, people, the middle class is basically gone. People can't afford to pay for a single family home. So we're just kind of like in this debt slavery that we can't even basically pay attention to who is in power. So you're right, James. Most people don't even care because they don't even know. But, uh, Alex, they care more about the aliens. I love the uh, joke that uh, Kari Lake, the Republican, made uh, about the aliens. She said, uh, I hope they don't say, take me to your leader, <laughs> <laughs> in case they wind up with Joe Biden. Um, tell us, uh, why is this uh, madness uh, inflicting America again, this crazy alien UFO stuff? <laughs> are you there? Are you, uh, you're a kind of alien character. Yeah, no, I think something's going on. You know, I think they're trying to distract us. But I think if they said take us to your leader, they'd take him to George Soros, probably. Or <laughs> <laughs> Joe Biden. So go figure. But yeah, this alien stuff, it's uh, I think it's just meant to distract us in all honesty. Alex Stein, always great to see you. It looks oh, a bit. No, oh. We're not, not going to see any of the big booty Latina film clip that Alex has put together because it is a work of art. OK, let's quickly see it if we've got it. We don't Please. have it. Maybe, have maybe you could sing it. Sing uh, it to us, Alex, very quickly. Ten seconds. I love big booty Latina, senoritas, filling out arenas. I love you, AOC. Please unblock me. Everybody go check out my Twitter. It's, I think it's at 1.2 million views. So thank you, Rita. You are Fantastic. the best. <laughs> love you guys. See you, James. Thanks, Alex. See ya.